Hey guys, Alec Mac 101 here. Um, this is just a little bit of tech work, something for an M4. This is an M4 MOE carbine. It's got the MOE grit or um, stock MOE buffer tube. Um, I just wanted to show you, I was having a lot of trouble looking this up on YouTube. This had become very, very wobbly. And so this is a little tutorial on how to cut that out because I couldn't find hardly any. I ended up finding one, but it was like halfway through a video. So I'm going to make one just for this. I don't know if it'll get a whole lot of views or anything, but I really don't care as long as I help. No, I try to help you guys out. But this is what you do right here. I didn't know this. It might be easier, but this thing goes in five positions on a stock. You can hold this in and slide it up and down. But what you have to do to take it off. You can't, you could, I mean, you could yank it all you want, but it won't come off. What you have to do is take a flathead screwdriver. You guys might be better at not using it, but you have to pull this. You have to uh, pull. I can't do it with one hand. I already did it because you can see it's off, and I just put it on the end there. But you pull this with one hand. And, I mean, this, it usually has to take two people. I did it once to two per people, and then I was able to do it by myself. But I held this with one hand. And with my screwdriver, went like this, and then ended up pulling this black thing all the way down to the bottom, so that this down there, and that I don't know if you can see it. Yeah, I don't think you can. This is light, but see that black thing in there? Come on, there we go. There's a little black thing in there. See it? Yeah, it's going up and down. That went needs to be all the way down before you can do anything. So what you do once it's off, you be like, wow. It's the end. You can't do anything. Well, you can actually take this and turn it lefty-loosey. And at the bottom of it, you'll be able to stick down. It's got to be a longer Phillips head screwdriver. You'll have to be able to stick it down and have to fit. This fits all the way down there. So then you can and you stick it all the way down and then turn it. And eventually it'll get tightened. And now it's, I mean, it's rock solid now. It doesn't shake at all, which I was so happy. I called a guy at an airsoft tech shop near me, and that was how I was able to figure it out. Without him, I would have been screwed. Alright guys, that was just a quick little tutorial. Um, I might be doing... This is a... I just want to show you guys real quick. Um, this is a custom KWA. It has a custom stock, and some custom internals, and then also a gas block here in Noveski. But I might be showing... I'm going to try to show you guys how to get this uh this is a mini stock it came with a crane stock kind of like this except not nearly as high quality and it was like there but i ended up putting a small one on so it's a lot more compact and it's still got a rifle length barrel which is pretty sweet this one's got a 14.5 inch barrel which is actually really nice for field but this with this i have a mosfet in it too so this is kind of my cqb uh beast all right guys thanks for watching um you should know how to put it back on you just Put it right there, and then pull the things down again, and then shove it all the way on. All right, guys. Uh, please comment on what you thought. If it helped you, that'll be great. Um, rate, thumbs up if it helped you. And if you want to subscribe, I have over 100 uh, YouTube videos on just airsoft stuff. Some of my older stuff was really crappy, and I'm probably going to be redoing it over the summer. But they're going to get a lot better, guys.